uh, we were just hearing, hearing from Pian Vijay that by now they'd have caught some uh, fine print. What do you think of the overall reaction of the markets? Look, I, I, I don't think you could have done more. Uh, to be honest, everyone's saying it's a short speech. I think while saying very little, she did quite a bit. Uh, you know, one is, I think, she said the right thing. So you continue to focus on CapEx and growth while giving the market the comfort around fiscal prudence, which, which was the big question mark. So you say growth is important, but fiscal prudence is going to happen. And you find a way to spur consumption in the part of the economy where it matters. So you're putting more money into the hands of the people and also directing people towards the new tax regime. So I think that in terms of item one was very important. I think the meta point, which is the second point I would make is that Increasingly, we are seeing budgets are showing that India is truly becoming long term. So we are going away from the tendency to be populist in a year before election and continuing our growth path. Um, as a capital markets person, you're recognizing that domestic capital is important in the market. So nobody has tinkered with capital gains taxation. Uh, and things like gift, et cetera, which were good for global investors, you continue to invest. So you're showing that India is really building for the long term we have a long term vision and strategy and we're trying to build a stable regime for both domestic and foreign investors so i think that is a second big plus for me um and the third one is you know the thrust on tourism because i truly believe that that can be a big catalyst uh, in states and from an economic point of view and the thrust on digital public infrastructure where i think india has made a tremendous stride Radhika, so one uh, yeah, yeah one ahead. specific question, Radhika, I wanted to ask you. This market-linked debenture seems to have been phased yes. out. It's something that many institutions, I don't know the Edelweiss are doing it, many institutions were doing that. That seems to have gone. Is that correct now? Yes, it is. Actually, this budget has closed what I would call a couple of regulatory arbitrages as far as investment products are concerned. So market-linked debentures, which had advantageous taxation, now get taxed fully. So I, I think that product as an HNI product uh, doesn't become exciting anymore. Insurance, as you would have noticed, the non ULIP part of insurance above 5 lakhs also now is not tax free. So I think yeah. that's why you're seeing some impact on life insurance companies. And then, of course, property above 10 crores, if you're doing a large capital gains uh, sale, is, uh, you know, is impacted. So I think these three big loopholes are actually closed. So by the way, as a mutual fund industry person, you know, I'm very happy because it's a movement towards more regulated financial products.